Today we are going to explore printing with font materials. It can be a little hard to find fancy art materials right now because of the shelter in place. But the truth is, to make fun art, you don't need any fancy materials. You can just use everyday life things that you can find at home. For example, I have here some vegetable stem and some bubble wraps with different sizes and shapes. We can also use recycled cardboard boxes. They have great patterns or cereal boxes, some old sponge and a ball with spiky texture. We can print basically anything that you can think of or you can find at home to find out what interesting texture they can give you. And you don't have to print on a fancy piece of paper. You can print it on magazines, paper bags, or cardboards. After you experience with the fun objects, you can use the paper you created to create new art. And we will talk about it in the second part of the video. To print with the fun objects, we need an object that you think it will create interesting texture. It can be anything. It can be a leaf or a nature object or something from the kitchen or even forks and knives. You need a different colors of acrylic paint to mix the colors, to choose the color you like. And the tray to put the paint and some brushes and the water. Now let's have fun. For me, I like to use old magazines because it's great. You can, you can make anything on top of the picture and create more layers of texture. For example, I'll use this page with a little bit of words and recipe. I am going to paint a thin layer of gold on top. You can throw any color you want. It doesn't have to be very thick. Mama, I want white. I want to paint on paper. Do you want this recycled paper? Mama, I want to do it with white. With white paper? Mm -hmm. We don't have white paper, so you can create a white paper. Now I'm giving this cardboard a basic color. We're going to experience with all kinds of textures, and then later on, we can use the paper we created to make a collage. This is a perfect activity for the young kids. They can think about what they can use for printing and discover the texture and the patterns of all things you can find at home to develop their design thinking, to connect the art with their daily lives. You really don't need anything fancy to make art. You can create art with anything you find in the house and that's fantastic. The magazine is dry. Now I have very interesting textures. I am going to try to use the bok choy stem. Let's first try red. Now after you have the basic print, you can de decide how you want to arrange it. What's the composition on the paper? You can make them in lines, or you can just print them randomly and leave it to dry. I print number one. Well, if you don't have the sponge for art, you can just use the sponge for washing dishes. Ask mom for an even used one. Oh wow, that's beautiful. But this is always a sponge. Mommy, mm look! -hmm. Cool. Now try with different colors. Mommy, I want a different one of this. Mush, 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 mush. Try with this box. Mix, 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 mix. Brown, brighter. With sponge and the poking ball. I am going to try a bubble wrap. I'm almost done. Okay. Do you want to use the bubble wrap? Yeah, the next one I want to use the bubble wrap. You cut out the bubble wrap and then you print on it. Okay? And what we can do with those paper is we can crumble it like this and dip it in the pan and print. Uh, I don't want so much. Ilan has a, a pink background. Look, you can put it on. Pretty, very nice. What color do you want to paint the background? Rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah. Okay. You know what's your favorite color? Pink. I 
you ready? Here I have an old painting of mine. I'm not gonna finish it, I don't think so. So I'm going to play with it. Bum, 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 bum.